Okay, so they're, they're just dead set on provoking as much as they possibly can. So I had said that um, they, at the moment they're bringing up breakfast and dinner for the residents who live here. Okay. Well, today they brought up dinner and when they came, there, there's always a few people working, you know, bringing up the food to, di to different apartments. And someone went, came to her door, okay, fine. And she brought, she brought the meal, but then she, she, you know, she was handing us one and she asked, no, do you guys get two or, or do you just get one? Because there are two here for you. And I said, no, 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 we just get one meal because I don't, I don't eat the, the meals here. Um, so it's just for my mom. So yeah, I, and she, I said, no, 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 we just get one. And so she, she, she handed us one and she took the other back and she said, okay, go, go take that one and we'll figure out where, you know, who the other one is for. Okay, so I came in and as I said, I, you know, I, I ripped it open and I, I normally, you know, I, I, not normally, I always, I heat these meals up for my mom, even though they're already warm and they're cooked because I want to kill whatever germs might be in there, right? I, I you never know how, how careful or uncareful, you know, the employees are and, especially in a situation like, like wearing with the, with the targeting, you really do have to be careful. So I, I heat it up just to make sure there are, there are no viruses. There's no bacteria left anyway. So I, I, you know, I opened the package and then I looked back at the package and I noticed on the other side of it, right, written on the plastic right next to our apartment number was the word dog. Yeah. Dog D O G. Now that's interesting. Because, you know, in a video, not uh, a few videos ago, I said that um, being a target feels a lot like, you know, or being a target, having to deal with the government feels a lot like a dog being run in circles or something like that. I don't remember exactly what I said. Either way, dogs get let on a leash. Dogs, you know, this is, this is, dogs are known to be either submissive or, you know, if someone's going to call someone else a bitch, they're just, just attack and attack and attack, right? So... The, the, uh, you know, obviously the, the insult, you know, the point is made, it's, it's meant to insult. It's just, you know, it, this wasn't even for me, it was for my mom. So I had, I had a, a, an outburst. Um, I started shouting at the ceiling. Well, first I called downstairs and I asked, you know, what, what, you know, I asked them why, why is the word dog written on here? And the guy downstairs didn't know, but, um, yeah, then I started, I, I just started shouting because I know they can hear me. I know they can hear me. And, you know, I I, I got very insulting. I, I shouted some insults. Um, I reminded them they're gonna they're gonna call us a dog, either me or my mom. But you know, a dog it tends to be led around by a leash, right? A dog tends to have a choker around its neck, let let her being and, and you know and, and and will sit on command and, and beg on command and and bend over on command, right? I'm not the one gathered in a massive group to hunt, stalk, and terrorize a lone target who has no way of fighting back, right? I'm not the one. They're the ones who are gathering in a massive group to hunt, stalk, and terrorize a lone target who can't fight back. Who, you know, because it's a group against one, okay? The group, and the group has power, money, resources that the target doesn't have, right? This is, this is a coward's war. They're fighting from their safe space where they don't believe that any harm will ever come to them. So they get the thrill of the hunt and the exhilaration of the, the battle and the victory without ever feeling like they're, they're, they're in any real danger. It's pathetic and cowardly. That's them. That's them. Whoever the stalkers are, whoever the organizers are, think about how much good they could do for the world if they put all of this time, money, energy, all of these resources into going after a real threat or someone they believed could actually fight back. They could make this world a better place, but see, that would be hard. That would be dangerous, and they're too pathetic and cowardly for that. So they'd rather have their fun and join in with a massive group to attack a lone target who can't fight back instead of being brave and standing alone, if necessary, against the real threat. No, instead they bend over for it. Yeah, they're the real bitches, male and female. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I just wanted to, to post that. And um, I did take a picture of the bag, so I'm going to include a, a picture of that. Peace.